Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss the three very important tricks of classical mechanics. And this video is going to be in English. So guys, now let's just start the discussion about all these three very important tricks of classical mechanics, which are important for your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam, as well as for the Gate Physics exam and all other similar exams. So guys, now quickly let's just start the discussion and if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe the channel to watch such important topics, tricks and many other important concepts based videos on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. So if you have not subscribed the channel yet, you can subscribe the channel. Also click on the bell icon after clicking on subscribe written below this video. Once you will click on subscribe, you will get, get the bell icon there. Click on that bell icon to get the notifications for all the new videos which I will upload on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. Now let's start the discussion and let me just tell you about all these three very important tricks of classical mechanics. Now guys, first trick is related to the situation whenever in any question the potential expression will be given to you. Let's say the potential expression is given to you in such a way that is x plus 2y. Clear? And you want to know uh, the corresponding momentum or corresponding expression which will show the conserved quantity or constant of motion but in terms of momentum. So if any time if you will have any question of this kind in which the options will have the terms containing momentum clear then how you can easily find the answer for this kind of question or you can get to know about the conserved quantity. See guys for that we are having this trick what you need to do initially write the momentum corresponding to these terms present here okay so guys if i'm going to talk about x coordinate corresponding to x momentum will be px and corresponding to y momentum will be py clear and what you need to do next you just need to change the coefficients so here the coefficient of y was 2 but now you will make it the coefficient of px clear so 2px and the coefficient of x was 1 so now you will write it with py. Done? Now what you need to do? You need to just change the sign. Okay. At this place or at this place. Any one sign you will change. Okay. If I am going to change the center one, it will become 2px minus py. Or if I will change the starting one, it will become minus 2px plus py. And both are going to represent the conserved quantity or constant of motion. Clear? So you can see how easy it will become for you to write the conserved quantity corresponding to the potential expression given to you if it is required in terms of momentum. So this was our first trick. Now our second trick is related to Lagrangian and again a constant of motion or conserved quantity. So anytime if the Lagrangian is given to you, clear? And if you want to know what is going to be the conserved quantity corresponding to that, what will be the steps or the trick which you can apply there. So guys, if the Lagrangian is given to you in such a way that is mx dot square plus my dot square plus uh, or let's say minus 2mx. Clear? So in this case guys, what you need to check? You need to check one thing that is the cyclic coordinate. And what is the cyclic coordinate for which the derivative will be present? But the coordinate itself will not be present in the Lagrangian. And this is we are going to check in Lagrangian case. Clear? So derivative of x is present here and x is also present here. So x is not cyclic right now. And the other name for the cyclic coordinate is ignorable coordinate. Clear? But if you will look at y. So y dot is present but y is not present. So what is going to be the cyclic coordinate? y is cyclic. Clear? In this case, the corresponding momentum components Okay, component uh, corresponding to the cyclic coordinate, clear, will be conserved or constant of motion. So, in this case, P1 will be conserved. Done. Next thing, if I am going to th uh, talk about the third trick that is related to the uh, phase space trajectory. Okay, I hope second one is clear to everyone that initially in the Lagrangian, you need to check the cyclic coordinate or the ignorable coordinate and corresponding to that, the linear momentum term will be conserved. Clear? Now next thing. Phase space trajectory related trick guys. So in that case there is a very important point which you all should know. That is for any non-conservative system 
the trajectories will always be connected to each other even in uh, the recent exam okay which has been conducted in december 2019 uh, for csi and net physics exam you had one question based on this point related to phase space trajectory so this is going to be a very important trick that is for any non conservative system the phase space trajectories will be connected but will not intersect clear so that's the another trick related to phase space dynamics or phase space trajectory phase space trajectory means the graph between momentum and the position coordinate and that graph whenever you will draw draw for the non conservative system the graph will be in such a way that the trajectory will be connected to each other clear so if i'm going to give you one example for that it will be something like this done and depending on the system you will have the graph which you will plot or the situation given to you but this is just an example it is going to be momentum axis it is going to be position axis clear so guys i hope all the three tricks will be clear to all of you but still if you will have any doubt at any point clear the discussion which we have done in today's session if you will have any doubt at any point clear you can let me know about it or you can just comment below this video and we'll try to make it clear also guys i would like to tell you about the unacademy plus subscription i hope most of you are familiar with the unacademy plus subscription and its benefits that unacademy plus subscription can help you a lot in your preparation because once when you will take the unacademy plus subscription you will be able to attend the live classes and the well structured and well planned courses by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your exam preparation and you will be able to know about many tricks many important concepts the best way for your preparation okay so you are going to know about so many things after taking the unacademy plus subscription what are the other benefits you will get see guys you will be able to get the recordings of the live classes okay weekly quizzes mock tests pdf of important notes and along with that guidance by all the top educators also guys if you will use the referral code anjali arora in which you just need to write first a capital and all other alphabets in a small okay so if you will write the referral code anjali arora and if you will apply this referral code you will get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount clear so this is another benefit you can get also guys unacademy plus courses will help you to take your preparation to the next level and to do the best preparation for your exam with the best guidance along with this guys what are the steps to take the subscription let me just tell you about these steps steps are step number 1 download the unacademy learning app step number 2 log into the app step number 3 that is select your goal if you are preparing for csir or net physics exam or any category csir or net exam you will select your goal as csir ugc net okay after that in the left hand side corner in the unacademy learning app you will have three lines present there click on these three lines then click on plus then click on get subscription and that's how you will be able to uh, take the subscription by following further steps clear and at the place of referral code use the referral code anjali arora and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount clear so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you